Good morning, Aquarius. Hello, everybody. Welcome to your bonus read. That's right, a bonus read. I'm so late in doing your weekly reads. I'm doing bonus read Sunday, and air signs are part of it. So, Tara, the mystical moments for the main deck. I have um, Wheel of Fortune Tarot for the clarifying deck, and the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. I just want to say, if you're new to my channel, bonus reads are extended reads. And normally I do the top three viewed highest signs on Sundays on top of the weekly, but I'm doing extended reads. It's probably what I should really have put on your put. Um, so yeah, they're extended reads. Get comfy and let's do this. Like I said, Tarot the Mystical Moments, Wheel of Fortune Tarot. Look at this, Aquarius. You got the Empress energy coming in at the bottom of the deck and the star. There you are. The Empress energy is, that's as high as it gets vibrationally, right? This is really, it's all four queens upright, feeling really good, feeling empowering, feeling like you're being appreciated, but not really needing that appreciation to function, you know, because you know your worth. And this is also the pregnancy card, just saying. So you have a major wish, wishes coming in. Let's see what's going on here. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Aquarius, if you are an Aquarius, know an Aquarius, feel like being an Aquarius. Aquarians, I'm glad you're here. You could be an Aquarius and this resonates. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. It could resonate as the main story. An Aquarius can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about an Aquarius or for an Aquarius. Take it as it resonates. Collective messages from my lovely Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. What is the energy for Aquarius? What is the energy for the Aquarians coming their way? What is the energy for Aquarius? What is the energy for Aquarius? That's a lot. Five of Cups reverse. Ooh, Scorpio, which is the Two of Cups. Six of Cups reverse. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Ten of Swords. And the Moon reverse. All of these are saying one thing. You're finally ready to move on. Chariot and the King of Swords reverse. Ace of Cups reverse. The chariot is saying, you know what? You can't go much lower than rock bottom in a relationship. Or maybe this is how you feel at a job or personally, and you're ready to make a change. What's influencing all this energy? What's influencing all this energy? Emperor, standing on your own two feet. I feel like you're never letting anyone push you around again either. Aries energy. What's the reason for the reading? King of Wands came out, and that always reminds me of the magician with that magic wand. What's in the past? What's in the past for Aquarius? The death reverse, which is holding on to this bullshittery. Hoping it gets better. What is on your mind? A new offer, Six of Pentacles, Taurus. No wonder you got the Emperor. You got to look at the king energy out. What's in the near future? What's in the near future? Letting go. Nine of Wands reverse. I love it. Sagittarius. Nine of Wands reverse is an eight of Wands upright. But it's letting go of the pain and the hope of getting a little bit of goodness, of a little appreciation. You get a lot of thorns. And finally, letting that go to move on. How do you currently see yourself? How do you currently see yourself? Knight of Pentacles reverse. What is the energy coming in you don't see coming? What is the energy coming in you don't see coming? Getting out of it. Eight of Swords reverse. See when it's upright, you feel entrapped in that cage, but you have wings. You've earned the wings. You've been in this so long. You've outgrown your surroundings. The stars aren't even above. It's just clouds and confusion. But when it's reversed, you're breaking free from that cage and not looking back. And it's really about the mental, right? Changing our, our mental process here from I can't to I can. What are in your emotions? King of Pentacles reverse. That's current. What's the outcome here? What is the outcome here? Get enough of that. Four of Pentacles reverse, a release. Eight of Wands reverse. And a block. Ending something. I definitely get a big ending of something. Is it because you got a better beginning? Or are you just leaving knowing a better beginning? is what you deserve. 
Let's see, because you do have a Six of Pentacles up here on your mind, which is a, a somebody offering something. Somebody offering something. A hand up and a hand out. Let's see what's going on here. Five of Cups reverse, Ten of Swords, Moon reverse, Six of Cups reverse, the dun, the dun, dun, dun. What is that about? That's pretty much what that means. What is that about? Page of Pentacles reverse. So a Page of Pentacles reverse is not just not getting what you initially thought you were going to get, but it's feeling trapped and boxed in and held back. And you're still at the starting block in a situation. And I feel like all you want is the basic respect and the basic reciprocity, you know, and I feel like you're not even getting that in a current situation. What is this Ten of Swords, Gemini energy? Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Yep, Seven of Pentacles reverse. You don't want to waste your time here anymore. You're not investing. I think somebody showed their true colors and it was never been more than black and white. You know what I mean? Emperor, influencing energy, three of wands reverse in the world, turning your back on them and moving on. Start once again at the bottom of the deck. You got the king of wands, reason for the reading for Aquarius. What is that about? Leo energy. And the seven of swords. There you are. Seven of swords is finally getting out of something successfully. I can't help to feel that somebody's helping you though. Somebody offers you a job. Somebody offers you a raise. Somebody offers you respect. Somebody says, hey, come over here, Aquarius. We have cookies. It's a better, it's a better fit. And you're saying, you know what? I'll give you one last chance. And they, I, I am getting a bit of one last chance and they can't even do that. And because you do have a nine of wands reversed here and saying, okay, I'm taking it and I'm flying. Anyway, death reverse in the past. What's this death reverse in the past? Scorpio energy. Knight of Cups. Why the Knight of Cups and the death reverse? Nine of Cups. Pisces and Pisces. So could this new energy, Six of Pentacles, even be back here? Were you communicating with someone and now on your mind is a real offer? Somebody making a real offer and now it's up to you? Why the Six of Pentacles on Aquarius's mind? Why the Six of Pentacles on Aquarius's mind? And the Six of Wands. You are moving forward. Leo and Taurus right there. Six of Wands. And it's amazing with a little belief in you how much self-belief can change your entire outlook and, and world. Tell me about this Nine of Wands reverse in the near future, Sagittarius. What is this Nine of Wands reverse in the near future? Ten of Swords. Tennis, there's no more room for another sword, right? After a ten of swords is an ace of swords. I think you are given possibly somebody one last chance to explain themselves or to fight for you, and they don't. I don't feel like they do. And you're just done, and you let it go. My nose is itching as I say that. Bottom of the deck, yeah, lovers reverse, knight of pentacles reverse. And if they can't give to you, guess what? You're not given to them, which is how you see it. And there's the ace of swords reverse and the eight of wands. Yeah, it's the no card. I feel like you're you're really moving forward here. Knight of Pentacles reverse. How you see yourself off the getting off of that marijuana leafy horse. I mean, you know, it's like I think you're starting to see things clearly now. Knight of Pentacles reverse. How you see yourself in a stuck situation, leading you to a nine of swords, when all you wanted was that nine of cups. Why the Nine of Swords currently how Aquarius sees themselves? Why the Nine of Swords and the Moon? Yeah, there's a lot of cards talking about confusion. I don't know what's up or down. I think you do, though. I think you do. You have to look at somebody's actions, not the words, right? Nine of Pentacles Reverse tells me something hasn't been growing or moving forward for a while. And you thinking and worrying and waiting isn't going to make it come in. In fact, if somebody wanted you the way you wanted them, they're not going to allow someone else to have you like you wouldn't want someone else to have them. So for them to not fight for this and not show up tells me how little respect they're really showing for you. And I think you're really seeing it clearly. 
especially since you have somebody else coming in or possibly in already that does see you as someone, the only person they want. Because somebody's given you the courage to fight for yourself with this King of Wands and Seven of Swords of getting out of a very complicated situation. It's like somebody's helping you uncomplicate it, really. Eight of Swords reverse. You find out you're really not stuck here and you're ready to fly. Why the Eight of Swords reverse, Gemini energy? And the Five of Cups, Scorpio. I do feel like it's, it's emotionally tiring, but you're finally making the right decision for you. That's what it feels like, Empress, because you know you deserve better. Look at that, Empress energy. It's, it's unfortunate. It's In a way, it's fortunate because it depends on how you look at it, I guess. I feel like something got so bad, it couldn't almost get worse. But you also can't go anywhere but up. And I feel like you're not going slowly up. You're going all the way up immediately. That's that Empress. It's amazing. A Empress energy clarified the Five of Cups energy. That's rock bottom to all the way to the top with no stops in between. And whatever is doing that, needs to have a street named after them and they need to bottle it and mass produce it because this is some big ass energy king of wands and i feel like that's within you and somebody's believing in you you're believing in you and there's now no stopping you and you're getting out of this and getting into something so much better for you king of pentacles reversing your emotions you're just you have nothing else to give this king of pentacles reverse in your emotions to a swords and going in this in-between healing phase. I do get a sense of block to a swords, eight of wands reverse in the outcome. Um, I mean, as simple as that, I just feel like you're choosing you and I think you're cutting someone off. Four of pentacles reverse, coming out of this, releasing this uh, cheapskate, four of pentacles reverse, wheel of fortune reverse, two of cups telling you there's three three energies here eight of wands reverse strength reverse and the two of wands look at that third card to two of cups third card to two of wands decision time a choice between two you have someone better somebody who wants you somebody who believes in you and two of wands is making the decision see how he's got the world on his finger now you have options but somebody did treat you like an option and made you feel like, you know, it's like they just took you for granted or something. And now you got love here and you got a change. I feel like a scenery of a change of your mind, a change of your energy. It's really, you. it's beautiful actually, because you got the Empress energy that came out and the first card out was the Emperor. Masculine and feminine of each other. But if we're talking true pair, it doesn't get better than an Emperor and an Empress. I feel like somebody sees your true Empress Aquarius and you are allowing the true version of yourself to finally come alive, King of Wands, and it's beautiful. So I feel like this energy, it just kind of feels like in the next six weeks, for some reason I'm getting six weeks, is just going to play out and get stronger and stronger and stronger where there's no going back. But all right, my beautiful creatures, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you kids on Thursday. Take care.